Have you ever been disappointed with yourself? I remember a time in fourth grade, I was swimming. We had a little competition and we were just swimming laps, back and forth, back and forth. I was in the lead. I was, there was nobody that could touch me that day. I gave up. I had one lap to go and there was someone gaining on me. I, it was too much. I couldn't handle the pressure. So I just stopped and everybody was like, what are you doing? Go, you're gonna win. I didn't believe in myself. That is the current state of our camera industry. They do not believe, and they are here to irritate us with inferior electronics. And I need to set this ship straight, much like the Lord of the Rings ships go straight sometimes when they kill people, trolls, orcs. I've watched it. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. Here's the reality that we face. People like me and you, we love real cameras. We're not fooled by the smartphone deception where it's like, oh, look at those specs. It's doing 8K. My camera doesn't do 8K. This is better. Then you get the footage back. Your over sharpened nostrils are crying to your ancestors. We don't need that in our lives. One day, maybe they'll catch up. Some of them already have, if I'm being honest. But there's something about a real camera that just feels right. When you take control and natural image, you can adjust things, you get everything wrong like I do, but it's nice. It's a nice experience and you'd think that they would be leapfrogging in technology, gaining each other, pushing each other, motivating. Canon's making this okay. I'll match you with Sony how we did it. Not really with the colors, but we're doing stuff too. What happened to being happy for other people's success? That's what drives motivation. You see somebody else succeed and you're so happy for them and they feel that happiness from you. They're like, wow, I did it. I'm so proud. And then they want you to succeed and we're all pushing each other and we're growing and evolving. Fantastic. Whereas today's world is like a fear-based competition of scarcity. I'm afraid that a smartphone is going to steal what I've created already a lack of abundance in the mindset. We need to start caring about each other to create better cameras of the future because what I'm seeing released lately is so just bewildering. I'm not understanding it. Take the Sony ZF-1 V1F. I don't know what happened. I was in the meeting. I got booted out like 20 minutes in. The only specs I got were like 20 mil lens. Oh, I'm gone. I'm out. Okay, I know nothing. I still didn't miss review date. Thankfully, Gerald Undone and that new friend of his, they cleaned up the holes, the blatant and glaring holes that I leave when I dig up a lawn. They filled it in nicely. Thank you, fellas. So I'm seeing that thing and it's even worse than I imagined. We got the 20 mil lens, but it was the super crop still but no stabe in the lens or the body. How do you think that's gonna work? You're not a GoPro. They've done it with super high shutter speeds and I don't know how they do it. Why don't you ask? Just a little pat on the back. Hey, how'd you do that? That's really nice. Then they teach you and then you put them out of business because you're better now. I see why they don't share. But like, what are we doing here? How can we backslide so badly? The ZV-1 was just too narrow of a field of view and the stabe was bad even though it had lens stabe and digital. It was not good. Sometimes, if you were careful, it was acceptable. Now we have a wider lens, but they remove the stabe in the lens. Their obsession with getting something tiny. Are humans that weak today that we need like air? Just holding air? I would be so excited to just go into an actual boardroom meeting with any of the companies and just give my thoughts like, you know what, this is what we need to get back to. If you look at all the good camcorders of years past, like Canon C100, they're all low megapixel designed for video. This new ZV-1 F for frick, they know they're not a photo camera anymore. Why are you 20 megapixels? 
they didn't change anything. That's why they're lazy. They're being so lazy. They're just keeping old parts, removing good features that make those parts usable. Where's the innovation? Why aren't we trying? I want to help you. I want to help. It could be so simple. A little, where's my X4000? Why? It's been so many years. The GoPro 7 debunked you and then you gave up. Did you read the writing on the wall that said GoPro has 90% market share, we'll never gain more, let's not try. You had a cult following that loved that thing. It was superior in so many ways. Imagine today's version of that. That form factor, the long form factor made it hand holdable because your hand's out of the way. You see it? You're holding this. Lens is here, your hand's not there. With these GoPros, it's too far away. I'm too lazy. You're holding it like this, like this ZB-1. It's this claw grip. This hurts. And then you got a flippy screen here, your thumb's now underneath. What are you doing? Camcorder style body for video works. Do it. Uh, the small one or big. It doesn't have to be so tiny. I honestly had no idea it was even physically possible to make a camera that would upset and annoy me more than the Panasonic G100 did. This has somehow surpassed that. Sony removing phase detect autofocus. That was a plot twist I couldn't even write. The G100 removed Panasonic's best feature, the IBIS. You now have no stabe unless it's in this lens and there's only like a couple lenses that even have it. Now Sony has one-upped them, removed their best feature, the autofocus. And I'm just like, is this a race to the bottom? To hell? Where Satan rewards you for being lazy? I don't want a part of it. I was in a meeting recently and I'm not gonna name any names but Sony was saying that they did all this market research and they were so proud that they now know this Generation Z and what they're all about and what they really want. And they like found all this research. Oh, they weren't zooming on the ZV-1. Unbelievable, okay, prime lens. I don't think they listened to a damn, who are they interviewing? How did these kids get in a room? Like they offer them free lunch or something? Just Doritos on the table and kids wandering from the street? Where are the creative kids who are in art school and they're inspired to create something nice? What happened to those kids? I feel like I'm an old man yelling at the clouds. Nobody's up there. And nobody's listening to the gems and the sapphires that I'm giving out here just like going back to richness of quality, something we can all be proud of. The Sony a7S III sensor is like designed for the perfect 4K, but it's also designed for the perfect 1080p. Low megapixel count, best dynamic range in the business. It's being challenged by hungry lions right now, but still holds up pretty well. Why isn't anybody shrinking that sensor down and beating the specs in a smaller sensor. Like, what are we doing? How is that not the most obvious thing by people in charge here? Okay, I wonder how fast we could get an APS-C A7S III type of sensor. 4K 24, I mean, 240 frames? What if it was a micro four third size like that? No one's pushing boundaries. If I had a camera company, I'd probably have two lineups, like a full frame lineup and then a one inch action lineup. But like so high quality with log formats and 10 bit and low megapixel, high dynamic range, you wouldn't believe the speed, actual speed, unlike the Fuji stacked sensor that is no faster than a grandfather turtle running away from a slug. It's not fast. Fast in photos maybe, but who cares? I actually saw this thing posted. I have mine unreasonably listed for 3150. I think I lowered it to 3120. He's posting his for 3400. I was like, you're dreaming. I tried to sell this for like two months, even though it was released one month ago. 
You, he will never sell it. He probably just sold it already. It's my luck. All I can do is give my thoughts on what I would like to see and then vote with my dollar on what happens in my life. Going for like Zeiss lenses, stuff with quality. We were originally on the Voigtlander in the beginning of the video, switch to the Zeiss. Why do I do it? I'm just, I get curious. I forget sometimes. I'm like, hmm, I was thinking of buying the baddest 18 mil. I saw one, 1100, it was too much. And I made the dumb mistake of saying, I lowballed him not low enough. I said, I would buy it today for 980. And he was like, how about we meet at 1000? I was like, that sounds reasonable. I, I should have said 950 and stayed firm because I didn't want it at 1000 or 980. I don't know, but I feel like that would be a higher quality, more fidelity lens than the Sony 20 mil. And so like I just gather high quality items here and I can feel proud that companies that are doing things the right way get rewarded by my wallet. I don't carry a wallet, just money in the pocket. That's safer. So I'm just tired of these half-assed releases that are just, they're going for more and more budget, but like smartphones are climbing the ladder, killing off the lower end. And yet Sony's like challenging them at the bottom end. They're like a gatekeeper saying like, no, we're still good. And then like Gerald shows that phones are better. He even used the front facing cam. Imagine if he flipped it around and used the actual camera. It would have crushed that ZV-1 Vic. Frickin' Vic. That's why I respect companies that are putting their best foot forward, like this Fuji. I don't hate this camera. I actually love it quite a much. Quite a much. They put, like, everything they had into it. They're just, they're not the sharpest image in the tech shop. It's good, and I like that they did everything they could. I didn't realize that 240p could get so much worse in a stacked sensor, but they found out, and now that ruins my life. That's why I'm selling this. Why would I bring it? I tried some slow-mo videography, street videography with this. Each person that walked by me was not in focus. This could not latch on to save its life, even though the autofocus is much improved. So I got to use Sony for that but there's not a lot of companies that are just doing the best that they could. They're like afraid or something. Like Nikon Z9 did the best they could. That's a fantastic machine, it's too big. Chop off that grip, and I might look at you, a little flippy screen on there, but like it's matching stuff and beating most things. And then they're standing up to red in the lawsuits. Like, no, we're making our own raw. Screw you with your rules. I love it. So Nikon, thank you. Zeiss, great lenses, love you. Leica, can I lick your shoes please? Love you. Voigtlander, German, wow. Can I sleep in your shed? I love what some of these companies are putting out and why do we not try our best? I feel the pressure in videos. I want to make constant videos because that's what YouTube loves. So I'm putting out as much as possible. I'm scrambling. I don't always have ideas. It's like it's a lot of pressure. I get it. Camera industry is facing the same thing. They make all this stuff. People are demanding more and there's competition. It's like, oh my God, we need to relax and work together. And that is the solution. Competition fear-based is scary welcoming others, helping, being happy for others' success, that's the solution. They're very different. Fear, burst, first fun. I said burst. Does fear burst fun? Uh-oh. Was there a study on that? So I'm done crying to the world. Hopefully things get better. None of this obsolete technology that's dead after a year. For example, and then I'll leave. I'm looking to buy a convection oven. I want an air fryer, but those are all full of toxic parts. They're Teflon anti-stick coating. Don't ever cook with that. It gives you Alzheimer's. So I want a nice stainless steel one. It seems like convection oven slash microwave 
is the way to go. Don't ever use the microwave. That's banned in Russia for a reason. Use the convection part. It's all stainless steel, little glass turntable. You use your own stuff. So I'm looking for one, but so many of them, the best ones, highly rated. It's like, oh, mine died after eight months. Oh, mine's dead one year later. My mom's lasted for like 30 years, I think. It was like a Panasonic. It was one of the first ones ever made. Her grand or her mother bought it. Still being used like it just died. 30 years later, I think. That's how things used to be made. For respect. They wanted to give you the best they had. That's the way of our world. That's what humans are here to do. So grow up, camera companies. I'm looking at you. Every one of you. Sony. Canon. Black Magic. Where's my flippy screen? Food you with your leather pants. I see you all. Panasonic. Phase detect anytime now. Any day now. Olympus. You're still in business. I believe in you. OM2. Can't wait. Is there any more? Nikon. Flippy screen. That's all we're asking. I'll leave. Thank you for buying today's gear through my affiliate links. Don't reward them, actually. Unless I post better gear.